So uh, welcome to a new series, uh, Advanced Production Techniques in After Effects. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to pull a core mat from a piece of green screen video footage. So I'm just going to load in a piece of sample footage. And uh, if you want to get hold of this footage, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can download this uh, video file. So I'm just going to import the video. Um, here it is. And I'm just going to drag and drop it here on the comp icon. Um, as you can see, it's a girl kind of kneeling down. She's holding a gun. A uh, pretty simple, basic scene. As you can see, there's a few issues with the lighting. Uh, we've got some dark areas here. We have some kind of object in the background here, which needs uh, removed. Uh, we've got some shadows here and we have some hair, which is always uh, problematic. So this has been shot with a 442 image sensor which basically means that um, the red and green channels have more information than the blue channel. So um, if we just look at the green channel, um, just click on here and choose green. Oops. Uh, you can see that there's not much noise in the footage, but if we go to the blue channel, uh, there's quite a bit of noise in the footage. It's basically the way the image sensor works. Uh, it kind of sacrifices uh, the blue channel so I'm just going to go back to RGB mode. So before we even touch key lights, what you first want to do is create a garbage mat, which basically gets rid of kind of most of these areas which we don't need. So I'm just going to create a really rough garbage mat using the pen tool. And I'm just going to draw around here. Just keep it very simple. And I'm just going to click on the footage, get to the mask. And I'm going to change the mode from add to none, just so I can see uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to open up the mask options and I'm going to keyframe the mask path. So I'm just going to move this mask path um, over here. Just add a few keyframes quickly. That's good. Uh, just adjust it here. You basically want to get as close as you can, um, but you don't want to spend too much time on it. Here it is. I'm just going to do one last frame here and that should be good. Okay. So that's working quite well. Uh, next I'm going to choose add. Okay. So next I'm going to use key light. I'm going to click on the footage, go to effect keying, uh, key light, which comes with after effects. It's one of the best, uh, green screen, uh, matte extraction tools. And I'm going to pick a screen color, which is basically a green color. And what you want to do is you basically want to pick the brightest green because basically the brightest green tone has more color information than the dark tone. Um, so I'm just going to click over here somewhere so you can see the transparent background coming through. Over here in final result, I'm just going to choose a screen mat. So this is basically showing us the uh, alpha mask, the alpha channel. So first thing we can do is we can turn up the screen gain. And as you can see, that gets rid of these kind of um, areas over here. The only downside is it kind of eats into the detail, like the hair detail along here. So um, I'm just going to try and find a balance. We're basically trying to pull a core mat, which is basically, um, it's basically just a rough outline. And then we're going to use um, further kind of smaller mats to isolate certain areas. Uh, so we might have a separate mat just for the hair over here, but this is just going to be our general kind of core mat. So next, I want to try and fill some of these white uh, areas. As you can see, there's gaps. Uh, I'm going to go to screen mat and I'm going to clip white. I'm going to lower the value. And as you can see, that uh, gets rid of those gaps in the white. So the only problem is uh, we've lost kind of hair detail over here. So what we can do is we can basically duplicate this. Um, I'm going to lock the layer below, go to masks. And I'm just going to delete this mask and I'm going to get rid of key light. And I'm just going to create another uh, garbage mat, sorry, a garbage mask just for that hair. Uh, I'm going to choose none here. Add a keyframe and just go through the footage and isolate that piece of hair over here. Okay, that's pretty good. So what we want to do is we basically want to, I'm just going to hide this layer. And I'm going to go to the mask and turn it to add. So we want to add a key light just for this kind of specific area. 
a separate key light. And I'm going to pick the green, go to screen mat, and I'm going to try and now preserve uh, the hair detail. So I'm going to use screen gain, but not too much. And I don't want to use clip white too much. Um, you can try shrink and grow. And I'm just going to play with the balance, just trying to keep the hair detail basically. So I'm just going to turn on the layer below. So if I just hide this, you can see that it's much better. This is uh, previously, and now this is with the new uh, hair mat. So we kind of managed to get that detail back in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a black solid. Put this in the back. And this is going to be basically my um, matte comp. So, so all my separate matte layers, I'm going to merge them in this comp. So I'm just going to create another comp again. And I'm going to put my matte comp into this composition, this new composition. And then I'm going to choose a video layer and go to these options here and choose Luma Matte Matte Comp, which is it's basically using the layer above it as a mask. And as you can see, we've got quite a nice matte, except for this area here, the hair details in there. Uh, what you want to do is you might want to create a new uh, solid background. And the best color to pick is basically um, because RGB values uh, go from 0 to 256, uh, 128 is basically the best background uh, color value you can have when you're working with uh, green screen footage. So I'm going to choose OK. It's a kind of a gray color. And I'm going to put this in the background here. So we can basically see what's going on very clearly uh, using this gray tone in the background. So as you can see, there's a, there's a bit of green around the hair mat. So you might want to I might just want to increase the screen gain slightly, go back. That's looking much better. Uh, finally, before we move on to the next lesson, I'm just going to show you how to get rid of these kind of green um, outlines. So I'm just going to choose my video footage and go to Effect, Keying, uh, Advanced Spill Suppressor. And that gets rid of those um, horrible green tones. And that's a pretty good matte. The hair detail is pretty good. Um, needs a bit of work, obviously, like several more. Uh, it needs uh, several more kind of mats. One maybe here for the hand, one here. We need to remove this bit here. But um, that's the general idea. You basically just duplicate the layer again, get rid of the key light, get rid of the mask, and um, and basically choose a new area to work on, like maybe the gun, uh, set the mask to none, um, animate your garbage mat, turn the mask back on, and then add a new key light to work on just this area. So um, I hope that was useful. Uh, join me in part two and thanks for watching.